Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Game It Out. Today we are checking out Night of the Blood Moon. This game just released into Early Access. It's kind of interesting, they're gonna do Early Access for one week to sort of iron out the last of the bugs and then release it fully. Also of note is outside of the music, this game was done by one person named Tyler McDermott, which I think is pretty cool. Art, animation, programming, and production, that's pretty big. So that is very cool, let's go ahead and check it out. Uh, weapon select day. Let's see, well since we have no money, we're gonna go with whatever this thing is. Boomerang will break on walls during return. Less melee damage when broken. Upgrade unbreakable. Let's quickly figure out what's going on here. So we play as this nightmare thing right here. We run around this, this Binding of Isaac-ish, Zelda-ish looking level. We have two weapons. We have our melee attack and we have our boomerang. Everything is very snappy. Handles itself pretty much as you'd expect, like a twin stick kind of game to do, although I am playing with keyboard and mouse. Let's go ahead and just read some of the description here. Night of the Blood Moon is a difficult rogue light where you play as a weaponized nightmare, beating up the cute creatures of our dreams. While we sleep, cute dream monsters fill the dream realm to bring our minds happy thoughts, but during nights with a blood moon, our nightmares are at their fullest. Night of the Blood Moon lets you play as a nightmare beating up cute, fluffy, lovable creatures. No longer do you have to play as a hero beating up skeletons. Now you can beat up all those fluffy things which have infuriated you with their cuteness for too long. I like it. I like it. Let's lay waste to the cute thing, shall we? So right now we're beating up happy candles in what looks like a children's room. Room. Certifiably dope. Thanks, dude. Oh, I hit space bar, so we get to level up. What do we got here? More health drops, dash eats projectiles, and move speed. We're gonna go with dash eats projectiles. I like that. We have one more point we can use. I'm gonna hold on to that and just go on to the next level. Ah, here we are. Let's go beat up these these cute little flying things and try to keep them. And so if I dodge, space bar lets me dodge, which is a very nice ability, obviously. I think if you're dodging, you cannot be hurt, which is nice. It looks like we're going from a uh, bedroom to bedroom here beating up the nice things of our dreams. Man, this is one lucky kid. Look at this. He's got a, like a foal or like a queen, maybe even a king. Spend some time just hitting these dudes. Thank goodness this game provides you with some health. I was uh, I was looking kind of weak there. Now I'm at seven out of eight health, which ain't too bad. The pixel art in this game is great, I gotta say. What else is out there? Can I open up this chest? Oh, there's nothing in there. Oh, what are you doing back there? Nice job. <coughs> Let's do more health drops. I like the sound of that. We'll go, we'll double down on the health drops there. Oh, so this is no longer a bedroom, obviously. This looks to be a little bit, uh, what do we got here? Well, we have a music change. That's for, oh, oh, we have guys that want to dash at us too. So we got the normal dudes that just kind of wander around and then we have stuff that chases us. It looks like stuff comes out. Uh oh, uh oh, my boomerang hit a tree. So I had to go pick it up. What are you doing in the corner here? Get these health pickups. So it looks like we got a couple of different kinds of things coming at us. We have we have those guys that seek us out. We have these guys that kind of just wander around and or run from us. And we have these dudes also that seek us out. A couple different kinds of things. I haven't seen anything yet that I can recall anyway that's like down to keep shooting me. Looks like a lot of so far stuff I can go in and just physically beat up, which is nice for the moment. This guy masquerades as a bush, but then if you beat his ass, well, so let's go around and knock out all of those bushes. And this guy's coming around. We'll go ahead and knock him out or try to anyway. And then we'll just do some quick cleanup, killing all of these things. Ew, ew. Onward to level three. Let's go ahead and up our move speed. Why not? New elements, the darkness. Ooh, everything wants a piece of me now. So I'm going to try and, oh God. I think I just got bombed on and that just did me in. That was good for a first round. Let's try that again. We've picked up some leaves for us to be able to do an upgrade. So let's go ahead and upgrade to the crossbow. Let's give it a shot. Hi, friends. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm okay with this. But it looks like I only have three shots. Oh, I have... So I shot three times, and let's see. It looks like as I kill something, I get another shot. So you can, it seems like what happens is either you manage to juggle it so that you always have more ammo by killing stuff, or you can do what I did and just miss twice. Three times, if you're good at this, you can juggle it so every kill, yeah, winner, winner, chicken dinner, so that every kill you have replenishes your ammo by one. I neglected to notice this last time, but you can upgrade your weapon as well instead of upgrading these. So we're just going to go ahead and upgrade the bow. So now it's piercing, which I believe means, yeah, shots will go right through it. So let me, uh, let me get some more ammo here and see if I can't just shoot through a couple things at once. All right, let's try this now. Let's, let's see if we can line this up and hit a couple things at once. Yep, there you go. That's what the piercing rounds are gonna do. So especially in a crowded quarters like that, that's gonna be real helpful because I can go ahead and just hit them all at once. Per the first rounds, we're gonna go ahead and do our cleanup. And we're also gonna beat up this chest. Can we beat up the bed too? I guess metaphorically we already are. Would love to emphasize again the very tight controls this game has. I am playing with keyboard and mouse and it feels perfectly fluid. A nightmare worthy of the blood moon. Thanks, man. Can I just upgrade this again? No, you see, I can only upgrade the crossbow once. Look how adorable yet menacing that nightmare looks. 
looks. Let's add more health upgrades. In fact, let's do both. Something I'm not utilizing enough is my dash. So whoop, there we go. That was that was utilizing the dash right there. Whoa, 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 whoa. What was that? What was that? Who was shooting projectiles at me? Not a fan of any of that. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, hey, hey, hey. Hey, guys, I'm gonna need you- Ow, stop it! Guys, I need you to just stop for a second. Especially you. All right, what is over there that is- Hey, all right, I need you guys to give me some health, please. I signed on for more health upgrades. Ooh, oh, 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 oh. Let's see, let's kill these dudes. So, let's see, is there any- Oh, yep, there was a guy in the bush there that I took- Oh, I see you. So, now we're in the process of just doing cleanup, but I'm also trying to do it using my crossbow, mostly because it's fun, and also because I can keep some distance on these dudes. With the piercing that I have- Oh, you son of a bitch. Look at this guy. And he's trying to... Oh, I see you both. I see you both over there. Getting in the corner there. There we go. <laughs> Congratulations, you're a murderer. Yeah! We're gonna upgrade this stuff because we need... Okay, so that... I think all I did is restore my health, which I needed most definitely. This piercing stuff gets very vital, I'm, I'm suspecting, as time goes on. Because I can really see these mobs coming and see if I can't just hit a lot of them at once which is really handy to have. I can also see how the starting weapon of the boomerang is incredibly useful, because with it coming back to you, that's multiple chances for stuff close by to get smacked by you. Oh, I see you back there. Let's take him out. Okay, and one more shot should do him in. Great. Let's go punch this dude. Come here. Ow. No. Uh-uh. Ooh, color unlock day. Eh? Bob and weave. Bob and weave. Let's go with more move speed. This path, this tree over here, takes us to enemy corpses deal damage. Sweet. Plus dash distance. Ah, uh, more dash distance. Let's see if we can't get all this stuff upgraded. All right, what do we got? Looks like a, looks like a, oh, wait, wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. We got a sniper back here. Ah, I see. This instrument over here fancies himself. Oh, God, I'm so gonna die. I'm so gonna, ah, oh, damn it. I'm enjoying this very much so far. We will play another round, but first let's check out eclipse mode see what oh i guess we're not gonna play it yet so we do not have enough to unlock what is clearly a bomb and whatever that is which looks like one of them try throwy boomerangy thingies nor do we have enough for whatever this is so i'm gonna go ahead and stick with the boomerang again because i thought that that was a lot of fun the thing that i love most about games like this is when you the, the magic of when you first fire them up you know you fire up a game like this and my general feeling is like all right i know what this game is about we're gonna save our point and we're gonna upgrade the boomerang next round when i see games like this i'm like i know what it's about i play a lot of Binding of Isaac. I played this other game called Raynard recently. Like, I've I got a pretty good pulse on what to expect. And in some ways, that ends up being true. But in other ways... Oh, give me that, give me that, give me that. But in other ways, it provides something new that I just wasn't expecting. And that's always the greatest part. And also, the loop of the game is sort of like, all right, you got your ass kicked the first time, but you probably learned something. So when you go in and have to fight again, it all starts to feel a little bit more familiar. It starts to feel a little bit more like you know what's going on. And each time, you see some actual improvement. I mean, for the most part. Maybe not always. This game kind of mixes up the formula a tiny bit by giving you a ranged and a melee weapon that both have sort of an infinite amount of uses. Especially the starting weapon with the boomerang. You know, you can throw this thing to your heart's content, but it has obvious disadvantages right from the get-go. Like, its range isn't very far, and if it hits a wall like that, you lose it. Are we going to upgrade the boomerang? Boomerang won't break. Really? Let's get through this first. Ow. Hey, 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 hey. Let's test this won't break thing. Oh, check that out. Now the boomerang goes around corners like it, you know, as the boomerang does. It defies the laws of physics and... Okay, 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 let's keep shooting. See, oh, 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 oh. Yeah, so those bombs I just now realized are from this, from these little hearts right here. From me running over those. See if I can't clear some of those guys. Okay, we're gonna go with melee knockback. We're just gonna go down this path all the way this time. We're gonna do melee all the way. Gotta watch out for this stuff. I'm already not looking good. What is, what is shooting me? What is it? What is it? Come on, come on. And, oh, God! God! The goal now is to get my feather count up so I can unlock this guy. Oh, also we have a new color, I believe. Check it out, we have different colors. We're gonna go with green. This time we're gonna do the crossbow again. Oh cool, I'm green, it's not just my weapon. That's fun. So, as anyone knows, when you're playing a game like this, the, the tightness of the controls is paramount. And I think that that's something that can be really difficult to, to get just right, especially if you're doing like a PC game, and it, depending on if you want to do a game where it has mouse controls like this one, or if you wanna do, did you see that I opened the uh, the the box there, and I had a little I had a little nightmare friend here. What does he do? Well, he's not attacking. I wonder if he picks up stuff for me, or if he's just there to be adorable. I could understand that too. What is this thing floating near me? Why are you here? Did I? What did I do to deserve you again? I see him moving around, freaking me out, looking kind of like a star-looking 
thing? I can't really tell what that thing is. We're going more health drops again because if there's one thing we know, it's that I need those health drops more than anything. Shoot all that stuff. Hit that. Ooh, God, I just, I need to pay better attention. That's all there is to it. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Let's see, dodge this guy, dodge. Come here, you. There we go. I do really like the mechanic that if you kill someone, it replenishes your ammo by one. That is something that can turn into real tactics real quick, depending on how you're doing it. All right, okay, let's stay over here in the corner, see if we can't knock as many people out as possible with our crossbow without proceeding. And we can just snipe from back here, hopefully, because I want to see more than a couple of levels and I'm not good enough to do anything besides that yet. Done. More health, more health, please. So this is the farthest we got last time. This is the thing where I said, where I started talking about improvement or whatever. So let's see if that can actually happen, where I can act, oh, 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 okay, let's take out these, oh, okay, okay, so I feel like the thing you want to do is if you see stuff flying at you like these music thingamabobs, you want to make sure that those get taken care of almost immediately because otherwise that's where you're going to take a lot, of, like that, that's where you're going to take some damage. And if you see a laser on you, that's another sign to uh, maybe get out of the way. I do love the little slide whistle noise it makes. Not as big a fan of all the sniping these guys are doing on me, but can I hit this thing? Oh, I closed the lid. Shoot these dudes. Shoot these. Huh. I see you over. Oh, 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 oh. Almost there. Almost there. Done. So now we have a drum creature that I just destroyed. Uh, oh, oh my goodness. There's so much stuff trying to get me now. I do really like the musical theme though. Lots of fun yet dangerous feeling noises. Oh, the conductor has awakened. Uh oh. Looks like we did something that, uh, oh, I hear applause. That doesn't seem good. Well, let's see if I can't hit some stuff from back here. Look, there he is. Just trying to stay away from him. What I'm trying to do is just clear the room so that I can adequately deal with him without totally being distracted by, wow, he is, uh, he is fancy. I like that. Bum, 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 Look at him over there. Melee, yeah. And let's hit him with that. I can't tell. Oh, 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 wow. I just, I just took a lot of damage all at once. Once. Very unintentional for that to happen on my part, but it's good to know now that that can happen. Ow. God, you guys are such a bunch of jerks over here. Oh, the music got, got so, uh, got so relaxed all of a sudden. Oh. <laughs> oh, I see. All right. Wow, you did it. I know. I feel pretty impressed myself. Oh, look, we got a little, uh, we got a little, oh, he blocks. I am not a fan of the ones that block. So let's see. He, mm, mm, mm. We are in the underwater realm now, which is nice. All right, I'm not sure quite what killed him, but hopefully we'll figure it out as we go. Ooh, jeez. Ooh, oh, jeez. Oh, oh, wow. I'm getting hit by a lot of, I should not have come out like this. Wow, that turned into a quick bullet hell real fast, didn't it? Or I'm going back in. Color, blue. Now we're unlocking the, what is this? Is this a glaive? Grab on enemies and walls. Grab on, a. Eh? Let's see. Oh, <laughs> whoa, this is awesome. Hopefully this will get me out of a lot of sticky, oh my God. God, I'm already getting my ass kicked. I can already tell how this is gonna go. I'm gonna shoot this thing. I'm gonna be like, yeah, you're mine. And then I'm just gonna get hit by shit. All right, I see that as it goes. You pull them to you and then you take a bunch of damage and you ask yourself, why aren't you good at video games? Glaive, upgrade hook shot. We'll get there, we'll get there. Let's go with some knockback again. I'm uh, I'm trying to just, I'm trying to figure out what I think will help me. And I don't know what that is yet, except to maybe use my dash more. That's for sure. How far can this thing go? Whoa, it can go all the way across the left. Wait, do I hurt myself when I hit the wall. Ow, stop, I wanna test this. No, oh yeah, get over here. <laughs> There is something very satisfying about pulling something from all the way across the level. Upgrade, yes! Should have more damage now. Oh, that's, see, now that's more of what I'm talking about. What happens if I shoot all the way through this? If there's nothing there, looks, ow! I should have seen that. I knew that was gonna happen too. More health drops, please. If I just aim out into the ether like this, what kind of shit can I pull? Oh God, oh God, that is that is a risky proposition to do. Mm, this isn't looking so good. I'm trying to see what I can do without getting killed. Mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. Every time is not a waste, though, because each time we get more feathers. So we just need to get to 500 so we can check out this weapon. And now we're gonna go gold. We're gonna go boomerang and gold. I think that the hookshot might be a little too advanced for my brain. I think we're gonna stick to the default stuff for now, because I felt very at home with the crossbow. <laughs> Good lord. This game, of course, reminds me a little bit also of Enter the Gungeon, which is another bullet hell sort of Isaac-like, let's call it that. And of course also has a dodging mechanic. And you know, me comparing this to those other games, I'm, I'm hoping doesn't come off sounding bad because I feel like if you are like those games, you are in good company because those are all solid fun games. So now I know immediately what I need to do first, which is I need to take out what's around me and I have to make sure that I stay aware of one, the dudes hiding in the bushes that will run when they see my crossbow bolts coming, but also of the bomb 
bombs on the ground. I mean, that is the highest threat for me, is not seeing those bombs on the ground. Because for some reason, my brain just can't track them. So I need to be really careful about those things. That's what's going to slow me down in this particular garden arena. So far, I'm going to say that the crossbow is my preferred weapon. Can't imagine why. Health, please. Just give me all the health. As, as much as possible, give me all the health. So now we're here. What's that, what's that snoring noise? Ah, oh, jeez. Ah, oh, jeez. I knew he was coming. Oh, so that's what was snoring. He was out there somewhere. We got to face the music. No pun intended. Well, I guess kind of pun intended. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Let's get out of the way of this stuff and dodge. Stop it. Stop it. Oh, dodge. Ah, fuck. You know, things are going so well. Mm -mm. <laughs> All right, I need some. Ooh, oh, God. Oh, God. No, 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 no. So let's take this dude out. Now let's take these dudes out. You too. All right, look. I need you guys with your. Ooh, ooh, ho, ho, ho. So I'm out of uh, I'm out of ammo again. I'm trying to see what I can do. The best thing for me to do is to take out the little guys. Okay, I killed everyone but the composer, the maestro, and then the music gets all gets all exciting. And then I think I can just hit him. <laughs> just show him what's up. This is as far as we've gotten since last time. This is very scary for me because for one, I don't really know how these crabs work because I keep trying to hit them. I think I just have to find them when they're vulnerable, which is easier said than done. Ooh, these bubbles stick around. Gonna have to be careful of that. So when he brings out his little claw, that might be the time to get him. Like, you in the corner here. All right. <laughs> this crossbow is a lifesaver. All right, take him out, and then take him out too. What else do we got? We got this guy in the corner here. Look at that. He's trying to hit me. So I'm gonna wait for him to bring out the claw again. Hi, you want to bring out the claw? There we go. Round two in the water world. Doing pretty good here. Oh, this is a, this looks like a nice corridor for me to shoot my piercing rounds into because a bunch of stuff is going to get hit if I just fire like that. Something I was not expecting, but obviously makes a lot of sense, is I cannot just barrel into rooms. I have to really pick my battles and decide how I want to approach these because if I am not careful about that, I will just take a lot of damage really fast and that'll just result in my run just completely and suddenly unceremoniously ending especially now that we've gotten this far, I would love to see what happens next. Got a new color. Pet time. Bought a pet. Oh, well, look at this. Uh, okay. So this looks like a whole lot of dangers I wasn't ready to deal with. So those guys stomp down and launch a bunch of, uh, little beautiful little candies. I'm not sure what those dudes over in the corner do, except he's dead now. <laughs> I just shot him. I can imagine some pros doing a special speed running mode of this game where it's like melee only. And I can imagine a lot of like Dark Souls level dodging going on. That will not be me at least not for a time. What's this egg? Do I, can I, oh, hello. Look at that, I got a little friend now. Uh, 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 so let's go hide in the corner here. Uh-oh, the Melon King. I have faith that we can deal with the Melon King, right? That sounds easy enough, doesn't it? I mean, the run has gone so well. Why would we ever assume that something could go horribly wrong at this point? Where is the Melon King? Oh shit, there's the Melon King. Oh my God, what is happening here? Okay, this is getting more bullet hole. Oh, oh no, 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 no. Get away from it, get away from it. Get, just unhand them. Dodge. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Melon King no bueno. Hitting the melons don't actually give me any additional ammo. I'm down to two. This is not good, and I have no ammo because these guys are blocking my path. So let's see if I can't. Okay, I need you to die so I can have your ammo. Thank you. Okay, okay, so I have one ammo. Let's hit, okay, that's not how I wanted to hurt that guy. That's, that's fine though. Ooh boy, ooh boy, ooh boy. Oh boy, that was close. That was almost it. That was almost game over. Let's get in there and shoot that stuff. Okay, so I shot, oh, he blew up over there. I swear to God, if I die, all right, all right, so we got another pet here. If I die to the forces that be, oh, I'm back to 11 health. I feel like it's less likely that I'm gonna die now. Oh, new color unlocked, hell yeah. Yeah, this is already going great. I'm just getting my ass kicked over here in the corner. Oh my God, so much shit's flying at me. Try to hit them when they come at ya. So I'm noticing an increase in bombs. I'm noticing an increase in stuff trying to keep me from staying in corners. I get it in theory. <laughs> so far, we're doing all right. We are, we're seeing sort of these snowy, oh, it's you so you guys, I swear to God, you guys. I'm just gonna keep on. I should have been able to dodge that, and I totally didn't. That's a fault of my own. <laughs> that is a character failing. Hi, hello, done. Oh, This is the part where I'm definitely feeling more of the groove. Going around, just smacking stuff. Oh yeah, more colors, just what I like. Uh, oh man, look, it's the Castle Crasher dudes. Hey, 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 I was just standing back there. What is all this? Whoa, whoa, no, no, no. How do I, how do I, do I just hit him? All right, hopefully I just, oh, these castle dudes just turn into tornadoes, which I am, oh wow, I'm getting my, I'm getting my shit immediately ruined. How do I stop this from happening? Oh my God, I don't even know what killed me. But I do have 676 feathers now, and you know what that means. What is this thing? Each usage changes orb type. Careful not to hurt yourself. I don't know what I'm looking at, but let's try it out. So, so I just keep clicking the orb and it does stuff, I guess. Okay, so each time I want to rotate the orb, 
I can put it in a new position and then it does something and doing so costs me. Well, this is interesting looking, isn't it? So I put it in position. I, I under, my understanding is I put it in position and then I think it changes on its own, maybe? You can hurl it. Watch this, I can hurl it. And now it changes its form. So I can bring it close to stuff and it can do things. So if I move it back over here, it's not gonna do anything because it changed form away from its lightning thing. But if I move him back, and now he's green and he lets loose a bunch of toxic stuff, I think. Every time you launch it, I think it does something new and exciting. This is infinitely potentially helpful, but requires a lot more babysitting to like drag my orb around. What I basically do, ow, see? Like, I right-click where I want to put it, and then it just goes over there. Can this hurt me? Is that what I'm trying to figure out? Yep. Oh, okay. So this thing can definitely turn on you. As it was saying, be careful not to hurt yourself, which is exactly what that thing can do. Orb, I need you to do something awesome. Can you do that for me, please? Oh, God. I woke up the thing, and now I'm so fucking dead. There's no way I'm going to survive that. All right, so that was a first look at Night of the Blood Moon. This is a tight twin-stick shooter. Semi-bullet hell. A lot of interesting mechanics. It's going to be in early access for about a week before it goes into final release. I was going to say this game is easy to play. I don't know if I'd call it easy to play, but it has tight controls, and it is something where the more you learn how to play it, the easier it gets to navigate. And it's got a lot of fun options. It's got a great core gameplay loop that I think is a lot of fun. So if this seems interesting to you, I definitely say check it out. As I get better, I might come back and check this out. I was unable to beat the game, so we have not yet unlocked the Eclipse mode. So that's going to do it for this episode of Let's Game It Out. As always, I am Josh. Thank you so much for joining me, and I will see you next time.